like using things that still have some use to it, like a, like a page that I don't need anymore to write on the back of it. I write poems on pieces of scrap paper, so I turn something that might have become garbage very easily, uh, turn it into a piece of art. Whenever I go to a museum and I see great works of art, or I like to watch documentaries and read books and look at art books for, for some, of, some of my favorite artists, that always for some reason makes me want to go and create. But um, I don't know, I just enjoy the process of making art. I find it very relaxing. I find it, I find it like fun, but also I feel like I'm being a productive human being. And the, Starting at a young age, and especially once I got into my college years, being a productive human being was very high on my list of priorities, you know? I, I used to do a lot of other things that I considered fun, but that I didn't necessarily think were especially productive. But for me, art is something that's like relaxing, enjoyable, you know, almost therapeutic. But I also feel like I'm being uh, very productive. You know, I'm using my brain, materials, ideas, you know, things I've learned and things I think about and things that are meaningful to me and putting them into something that, um, you know, is something that I could then share with the world, express things that are meaningful and important to me. And so, you know, that keeps me motivated. Well, it totally depends on the idea and the project, but um, if it's something that I'm going to make a collage of and it involves text, for example, um, I guess I'll determine the size the piece needs to be to, to, um, for, for whatever the text piece is. And then I'll, in my studio, I have 25 years worth of materials I've been working with and um, you know, I'll find the letters to spell out the message and then generally I'll start searching for images that kind of tie in with that or just that I like or find interesting. A lot of it is very serendipitous. You know, whatever happens to be in front of me or whatever I happen to, to, to light on while I'm working. So there is a lot of spontaneity in, in it. Well, like for example, um, I had this idea to do the 19th Amendment, the women's right to vote. So I thought to myself, well, not only will I spell out the, the words to the 19th Amendment, but I'll try to collect all the female characters I could find on consumer packages. And so I ended up spending about eight months while working on other projects. Every time I would find a female character, I would clip it out and save it until I had a whole box full of them and then I was ready to compose the picture. So some of my projects involve collecting imagery over time. You know, I have this pie poster that I spent three years collecting all the numbers necessary to create it. You know, you just don't, you just don't happen to have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of numbers. If, if you look at packages, there's generally not a lot of big numbers on the packages anyway. There's a lot of tiny little numbers along the bottom and then in, in the nutrition panel. But as far as large numbers, for example, three stay fresh packs of Ritz crackers or, you know, eight English muffins. Some of the stuff you get at a place like Costco sometimes have multi-packs that have like larger numbers on them. But to collect enough numbers of, of a good size to do my pie poster took over three years of collecting. So when I had a box full of numbers, I said, okay, I'm ready to start doing this. Okay, here we go. So I started saying, I'll give it to you in order. I started saying that um, my first, the beginning of my art, I'm going to give you my the history very briefly. So this will tell my story pretty well. I started making art when I was in college and I went to NYU and I studied business. So, I don't know, I, being in New York City, I started going to museums and really starting to become interested in art. And I realized that some of my favorite artists, some of the great people considered the greatest artists, didn't go to art school. 
They were self-taught. Even somebody like Vincent van Gogh didn't start drawing and painting until he was 27 years old. So I just thought, well, I could mess around and see what I could come up with. And I got a set of these wax oil crayons. And this is a picture of me on my bed drawing all the things that were in my dorm room when I was in college. So it's a self-portrait. And I spent a number of years drawing, and I still love to draw, but my art really started evolving into cutting and pasting things. And my first collages were made out of stickers and junk mail and all sorts of materials I had at home and at my office that I didn't need anymore. And I, I, even though I was doing business, I still really had the dream to be an artist. So I would make art whenever I could, including at my desk at work, using things around the office. And then at home, I started taking photographs. And I don't know, started cutting them up and putting them back together. This is a photo collage of the Empire State Building. But then eventually, I started using cereal boxes. And this was my first cereal box collage the Frosted Flakes, and I did a whole series of these. Here's the Lucky Charms. Cheerios. I did many collages of Cheerio boxes over the years. And then, I guess within a, over, the, over time, I started using all sorts of pieces of packages to do things like the preamble to the Constitution. The original, all the pieces from these packages are cut and glued onto a large board and there's a one-of-a-kind original of this. Right. Well, I've been looking to put myself in all of these, um, ex having these experiences with the public, where, whether I stand out on the street giving out posters or do a festival or um, go to a school, go to a library, go to a museum. It's just another way of interacting with people, showing them what I do. And, you know, being able to give out a gift is, is a nice thing. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. Well, without somebody willing to receive, you don't have the opportunity of giving. So it's a mutual thing. And, um, you know, I guess as a businessman, I call it uh, shameful self-promotion, but it's also a way to test market my stuff. Like if I show a group of total strangers who I'm meeting randomly on the street, 15 or 20 examples of my work and saying, you can have any one of these you like, I have no idea whether they're going to like any at all or which one that they would want to take and for what reason. And so I get a lot of feedback from people just by doing this. And you know, as you could see from just today's couple hours out on the street, it's just a lot of fun to yeah. engage people like this and, and share art. <laughs>